I, I sincerely have no idea what I'm doing with this. And there's some red light blinking that I'm not used to. But anyway, uh, as if you've been watching these, these are little, uh, little parts. I'm showing the comic book collection. Uh, so this is my third collection over here. I'm going to try to step out of the way, but I'm pointing as the skeleton in the room. Ah! <laughs> uh, look at that, huh? That's a good look at young lad. <laughs> anyway, I'm going through the comics. And with that, I pulled out the highlights. Uh, so some of them, you know, a few days are comic book collectors uh venom and carnage uh carnage uh one of my favorites and he's around here then the hobgoblin and the green goblin Woo, who's up there Woo, there he is oh the uh the green goblin is really cool that's a model that i painted and that's a hobgoblin figure but i hand painted that green goblin that's up there yeah look at that one oh that's a good one too Oh, I can never get this camera. Oh, there's the there's the camera. All okay. right, I think I finally figured this out. So you got to remember, I see through this. Yeah, you know, it's a periscope. Hi, that's the periscope. Hi, are you? Yes, I am. Good. There's the green goblin and there's the hobgoblin. Okay, there they are. And I have those issues. <laughs> I have the goblin issues. Uh, and I do. I, I have most all of the Green Goblin, the first Green Goblin, Norman Osborn. I think I have all of them except that 14, that first appearance that I used to have. And uh, it was like a 9.0 at least. It could have been an 8.5, but it was beautiful. Uh, and it's worth like $14,000 today. And I gave that up in the first collection. Also gave up issue two and just a, a minty collection. So this collection I'm dealing with now is from the last 25 years. Uh, and these are the I am happy that I bought these when they first came out. And I liked them. Uh, and then I, I would start collecting once in a while. And I did that for a while. Uh, and then I ended up, I, I had a, a first collection when I was a little kid that, you know, I rolled them up and put them in my back pocket. And then I got a little bit older and I still collected them and they were worth money. So I took care of them and got plastic and the boards and the bags and then the boxes and things like that. And I had developed a collection uh, that was unbelievable at the time. It was a, a entire Marvel 70s, uh, like 1973 uh, to possibly like 76, 77, you know, some even later than that. Uh, and a beautiful Spider-Man collection. Uh, number two, um, I think there was a five, uh, so it was a Vulture and Doctor Doom. Yeah, and then this 14 uh, was just unbelievable. So through the years I went back, and uh, this is the third collection that I deal with today. Uh, and now the third collection is... The cool collection because that one is 25 years old. Oh, well, I started buying them like 25 years ago, 30 years ago, some of these. Uh, so this is the third collection after I sold the big collection that was, uh, you know, worth uh, a house today. <laughs> so I'm living in somebody else's apartment uh, and I have the comic books with me. So these are the uh, Venom and Carnage ones over here. And uh, the rest of the boxes are right down there. Okay. So this is Freddy's Periscope, and I'm just checking in tonight. So stay safe. Spidey fans, beware. I'm shirtless. Ooh. Yeah. So anyway, watching the old uh, chest and making sure. After the heart's exploded three times, uh, you kind of know that the fourth is coming. You just prepare for it. So anyway, this time I decided to make videos. So peace, brothers. Be safe.